movie recommendation system that basically um, collects the data off the IMDb website while the users are using it. So it will go on and if you visit a lot of um, Disney films, it will collect basically all the data. So the directors, genres and actors in those films. And then from that, it will filter the information down and collect things and send you basically the films you should watch based on what you've been on before. So um, in this case, they visited a lot of animation. So you've got like Tangled, you've got The Incredibles, films they've not yet clicked on, but they will probably want to watch since that's what they've been on before. I live in a house full of people and we constantly watch movies all the time, but we never know what to watch. And um, we kind of wanted a way to figure out what we could watch, because we know what we like. We know we like certain films, but we didn't want to have to sign into anything. Like we don't want to go on Amazon or Netflix. So this works completely in the background. You don't have to sign in. It's just what you do online. You never have to interact too much with it, but it works just the way you would want it to. I kind of wanted to expand it so it would also work where uh, it will give you movies recommended to you based on what users that are similar to you like. So if you've got a friend who also likes the same movies and they've been on the same things as you, you'll basically get like similar sort of films recommended to you. So. It's just helped explore certain things like uh, just making documents and just researching and in general like it's, it's built me up to be a, like a better student. I kind of want to go either into uh, project management or web development because those are the two things that I've enjoyed the most while I've been at uni. So. Yeah, I'm looking at using contactless gestures to make music through a, using a program called MATLAB. You have two lights that you hold in your hands and, and then you move your hands and depending on where they are on the screen will change the note that's playing or the length of time that the note plays. We do a whole module on MATLAB and so that's obviously come in and been very helpful for it uh, along with pattern recognition um, to be able to pick up the different light um, and the ambience. As technology advances, it's been really good to look at something different to a normal musical instrument that um, someone may struggle to play or have the dexterity in their fingers. Um, it'd be great to look at total gesture recognition, trying to get rid of the lights. Um, I had issues trying to use a Microsoft Connect to do that. Um, so we'd look at using it for people that can't play a musical instrument. Being able to do body movements in front of a camera to make the music could be something that would be used in special needs schools or places like that. In the future, I'd like to get a job for a few years to build up a CV and a kind of history there and then go self-employed to look at helping businesses with their mobile technology within the business and how it can help them. My project is essentially computer-generated art. So I wanted to make art that was um, unique um, to individual people and could be yeah, generated by a computer. I've been using a, a, a cellular automata model called Conway's Game of Life, which is very, it's a very simple way of um, kind of creating unique formations, I guess. So um, it works by taking a grid of pixels that are either dead or alive, and then uh, the next iteration of pixels is determined by a few simple rules. So for instance, if one pixel is surrounded by three other alive pixels, then that pixel becomes um, like dead on the next turn. So I've then, um, I've then used that model to create unique um, starting formations and then um, apply a color scheme to it by counting all the times a cell was active. I'm into like sort of I guess sort of like fractal, um, fractal art and different kinds of art, and it just looked like a, it looked like a fun thing to do. And my friend came up with an idea where it was essentially where you had like a greeting card and you put their their birthday in and their name, and then it gave you a unique card afterwards. So I thought, oh, I could, I could apply this um, cellular automata thing to that, um, and I'm hoping after the dissertation, it's taken me about three months so far. That I'll be able to make a, a like an online um, Twitter that will automatically reply to people with their with their, their pieces of artwork. 
I do have a job lined up in um, data analytics, which actually uses some stuff of, of MATLAB. So while MATLAB is mainly used for um, like fancy data analytics stuff, I can you can also use it for um, crazy artwork. <laughs>